it won't open. Uh, it's annoying how he says that after every single door. Oh shit! G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to Canarium. Uh, we're up to part two. We've just come down this elevator, and we've got to fix the power, I think, or um, check out what's going down here. Down here, yeah, no electricity. Uh, so let's see what's going on in this place. Can we open? It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going here. Got our journal and our documents we've picked up so far. Uh, yeah, there's no sort of objective marker, so I guess I'll just have a look around. What is that? Oh, that looks weird. Beautifully carved from a blue crystal, it depicts a humanoid figure sitting in a meditative posture most striking feature of the carving is the octopian mask it wears on its face. It looks sort of cool and it's got its eyes on the side there. Yep, on both sides. I've obtained a trophy item. Cool. What's this one? Provisional camp equipments were deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem. Also, submarines work great. They are fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. We've started exploring some parts of the underwater passage, but it is going slow. Hmm. Wonder what sort of expedition they're leading. I have it's no stuck. idea. This one's stuck too. Whew. At least uh, this place isn't as dark as the upper level. It won't open. Uh, it's annoying how he says that after every single door. Oh shit! Oh, alright. I got a feeling that that guy is like trying to lead us somewhere. Maybe he's not an enemy. But let's look in here. Glossopterus. Glossopterus. Just a tree. Why did they plant a tree in the basement of an arctic base? Yeah, no idea. Oh, that, here's the expedition handbook again. Can we go here? Yes, we can. Uh, I don't want to check that other place yet. Uh, what do we got here? Some samples of some sort? Oh, it's... What's went wrong? Don't know what those are. We'll close... Oh, I can't close that one. How about this one? What's in... Oh, nothing in there either that I can use anyway. Got another flashlight there. I need a phonograph cylinder. Oh, I don't know what a phonograph is. But anyway. Can we go through here? Locked. Locked. I can't use that uh, button. So we've got one last door to check. Where that um, freaky looking spectre is going. I don't know if he's like a ghost or a spectre. I, did I check this door actually? It's stuck. It's stuck. Alright. I won't put it off any longer. Let's go here. What's going to be waiting for us? Can't open those. Now, is it just me? Like, is the floor wet or and reflecting, or is it that just how the floor looks? Like, I don't know. Oh, is this another elevator? Link elevator has been set up. You can reach both the tower and bottom levels down below the base now. Camp equipments. Uh, and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. Tower, base, and cavern entrance. So there's a cavern down here. Let's check it out. Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. Alright. Let's search this place for whatever it is that I need. 
I'll need to look hard, I guess. Already looked in there. That's locked. I'm guessing we'll need to get into the storage. It's stuck. That's also stuck. How about the infirmary? Uh, the infirmary is open. Anything in here? No, nothing that I can use. Oh, I can't read that without the um. Statement of consent. By signing this document, you are agreeing to the terms written below. False statements made knowingly or will uh, willfully, including affidavits or other supporting documents submitted therewith, may be punishable. I hereby declare that I consent to perform my daily duties to the best of my ability. Listen to the judgment of expedition leader Dr. Faust and participate in a series of medical sessions as needed at the Apuat Antarctic base. The risks of participating in the aforementioned medical sessions have been fully explained to me. Any questions I have regarding the procedure, why it is necessary, its benefits and risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my informed consent to the performance of the procedure by signing this statement of consent. Alright, that's cool and all, but is there anything here that I can actually use? Like, why let me open these things if there's nothing useful in them? Yeah, there's, there's nothing in this room apart from a little bit of lore there. And this door opens for me. And this it's little stuck. thing. No, it's stuck. God, everything just likes to get stuck in this place. This one opens. Oh, this is the locker room. Locked. 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 This one's open. If this coat is just right here, where is he now? Yeah, where is everyone? The portrait. Uh, where's anyone it's actually? Locked. Bunch of pencils locked. sitting around. Ooh! What the fuck? What? What? Why are those just sitting in there? If this coat is just right here, where is he now? Hmm. Locked. Ah. Oh. God damn it. Private rooms. I won't. Oh, what the hell? Why did that door just? Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just check all these rooms. Nothing in there. Oh, whoops. Oh, baby picture. How about this drawer? Sketchbook. Oh. One of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye on its forehead, as well as inside its hand, which I think indicates some kind of state of knowing, because allusions to knowledge and elder things recur all the time in almost every bass relief we have discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting those halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the elder things, fabled creatures of primal myth, uh, myths. Well, I've got a fair few things here. I really don't want to read all of these. We'll just leave that one there. Get our light back on. A little sculpture of a moth or a butterfly. Nothing else in there. Anything in these drawers? A coat hanger? A bloody note? These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he is holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes I hear his voice through the radio. It is not in a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate the very idea of the suspension I will probably be facing. Oh, 
<clears throat> by the sounds of it so far, that's like the thing you should be least worried about. I'm gonna guess that these photos are like the developers or their uh, their kids, just as a little tribute to them or something. Yeah, I got another one here. More of the same coats and another portrait. Another note. I am inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy somehow, I can explore while I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur, an alien prospect in unnatural disposition so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that all this became evident after the conarium sessions had started. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. L. Ferguson. Oh, sounds like some pretty trippy stuff has been going on. More jackets, another photo, another one here. Seems he likes soccer. Or football. Hey, a key. Johan DeWitt. His, um, key for his locker. Hopefully there's something useful in there. Because I'm it's stuck. Locked. Locked. Both locked. Anything in here? Painkillers. Well, I don't need painkillers right now. And I'll leave all these doors open so I know that I've been in them. Uh, it was Johan DeWitt, I think it was. Yep, this one. Open. If his coat is just right here, oh. where is he now? He's got the same voice line for every one. That's a... I found a note about a mental problem. Uh, this is long, but I'll read it nonetheless. It's a secret, apparently. I've noticed a very curious and dangerous development in the psychological condition of the whole crew that compels me to record this note as an initial diagnosis report. The problem is especially intense for three subjects. Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman, whom I have been inspecting closely since the onset of their psychological degradation. During the past two nights, the aforementioned subjects awoke, screaming in their beds, thus affecting and demoralizing all of the crew members. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed some serious deviations in their behavior patterns. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. When really pushed, they clearly started to behave like someone else, which led me to believe I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder but it is too early to draw any conclusions. Other subjects are not too far a cry from their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. Their condition is getting worse day by day, and a serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying such sy symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him about its consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions we have been f having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from the outside world or will be able to send anybody away for a thorough medical examination, which is the only sane thing to do under the circumstances. Yeah, some messed up stuff is definitely going on here. I'm not sure what, but... Anyway, let's continue exploring. Locked. Uh, this one's open. God, it's still so dark. But anyway, close that one back up. Got another note here. I know we're close to what we've been looking for. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel a guidance of some sort. Something pointing towards the destination we seek. 
This could mean we are now in sync with the ancient source. The wearable conarium we're carrying out on our left arms connects and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source. And sometimes I wonder whether there has ever been another soul during humanity's relatively brief period of existence who was able to achieve such a feat. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through a stage of mechanized life on other planets, but its purpose remains unclear. Ooh, what did that do? Turn this on. Oh, there we go. Now I tap this. Ooh. What? What on earth? Uh. Can we talk to it? Who are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilman. Is that so? Is there a problem with that? <laughs> My name is Frank Gilman, an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. This thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? What is this thing? Uh, why are you... I want to know where everyone is. Where is everybody? They are here. No, they're not. Um... I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, God. Are they ghosts or something? It's starting to freak me out. Claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. But you are just a machine. And you are just air. <laughs> oh, what? Air? What do you mean by that? Hello? Is he gonna it say? doesn't answer me. Interesting. What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. Oh, all right, Frank. Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the Canarinauts. I'm guessing that we like we 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 are obviously Frank Gilman and that's our expertise. And he's saying that that's his expertise too? Canary not? Voyagers beyond. What's he talking about? Beyond? What beyond? No answer. That is like one of the most. Or oh, what is that sound? Oh. Alright, that does nothing now, but that's fine. Ah, oh, this is the crank handle um, for the thing downstairs. But yeah, that is like one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen in a video game. And that was unsettling uh, to talk to that guy, or thing, or whatever it is. But um, yeah, I'll end this episode here, and we'll keep searching this upper place in the next one. Uh, peace in the Middle East, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.